Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be your daily tarot reading for Thursday, the 30th of July, 2020. Alright you guys, please keep in mind that this reading is for the collective, it's for all signs, and it is an intuitive reading. Always remember to take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay you guys? Alright, here we go, let's see what messages and energies we have coming through here for Thursday. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, we've got the moon. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. All right. Nice. Thank you, Spirit. What do we need to know? Thursday the 30th. Thank you, Spirit. All right. We have Quan Yin, care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Right. Thank you, Spirit. All right, what messages do you have for us for Thursday? What do we need to know? All right, thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Alright, we are ready. Alright, we've got the Knight of Coins. We have the King of Wands. Knight of Cups. Strength. Death. Four of Wands. Knight of Swords. And we've got the moon again. Wow, that's amazing. Awesome. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yes. I love this. Wow, we have three knights here. The knight of coins, knight of cups, knight of swords. All right. Powerful. These are powerful energies. You know, what I'm getting right here with the strength and the moon, you know, you're being nudged here, okay? You know, your guides are telling you with this energy right here that you can trust your intuition, trust, the, you know, that you are being divinely guided. You are right, okay? Some of you are being pulled in a, a direction and you may be questioning yourself. You are right, okay? Whatever that is, you're meant to go in that direction. You're meant to go after it. All right, that's why you're being pulled towards it, you know, and especially with strength, you know, this talks about you going after a dream or a wish fulfillment, going after your heart's true desire, and you've got the moon clarifying it again, you know, this is you, you know, this is so powerful, you guys. Listen to your intuition. You know, oftentimes, you know, this moon right here is telling you, you know, listen to your intuition, okay? And a lot of times when we get the moon right here, it can represent that we have uncertainty. We don't know what's up ahead. But, you know, with this coming up here as well, with this moon, this tells me that you need to listen to your gut. You know, it's time for you to go after your heart's true desire and know that you're going to be divinely guided. Okay? Spirit's got your back. You are in communication with your higher self, with your guides, with the universe. Okay? They want you to understand that, you know, where you're being pulled, okay, that is what you go with. Some of you have been feeling a bit, you know, You've been feeling a bit clouded, uncertainty, um, not for sure, you know, feeling like, oh, I just need a sign. That's m maybe why you're watching this reading right here. You probably watched a bunch of other readings. This is confirmation for you. Somebody needs to hear this, okay? You're going in the right direction, but you need to move forward, okay? You need to step into your power and take action. There is a dream. There is a vision here. And Spirit is letting you know that 
you know, this vision is achievable. It is within reach, okay? And you are being protected and divinely guided along the way. My dog is having a dream. <laughs> Bosco. <laughs> it's funny. Kuan Yin. Care and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. You know, I feel for some of you, you may have a friend or you may have a loved one that is going through a hard time right now. And, you know, I see you offering your support, being very generous of your time. This could be a grandmother, a grandfather, maybe an aunt, an uncle. You know, and this could, have, this could be a friend as well. I, I feel like they may have, they may be sick, okay? And, you know, you're taking on some responsibility here and you're helping, okay, care for them. And that's amazing. That's, an, that's a beautiful energy right there, you guys. And, you know, oh, it just, <laughs> bless my heart. All right, very emotional right there. Yes, I'm definitely getting that you're helping uh, care for an elderly uh, sick, whether it's a a friend, a, you know, or your friend's grandmother or grandfather, you maybe that you've grown up, you've known all your life, and you consider them part of your family as well, or this could be your grandma or grandfather, okay? This could even be your mother or father, but I'm getting a very old energy right here, and when I say old, I'm talking about 80s, okay? I'm getting 80s, 85, maybe 90, all right? And, you know, you are just being so helpful and generous. And you are such a sweetheart. All right. And I want you to know you will be blessed. And I know you're not doing it for anything in return or a blessing. But I promise you, Spirit has something for you. Okay. That's what I'm being told. All right. You have a big heart. That is so sweet. I got so emotional there for a moment, you guys. I almost got choked up. I, you know, children and elderly people, I just, I love them. You know, they are so innocent, and at the same time, they are so vulnerable. And that's why it's so important, you know, for us to look out for the little ones and look out for uh, the elderly, you know, whether it's family or not, just going to a nursing home, which I know right now we can't do that, but... Um, before all of this happened, you know, that's that's the kind of stuff that um, I like to do, you know, go and visit just people I didn't even know, it, and it just brightened up their day, and I know with what's going on right now in the world, we cannot do that, sad to say, you guys, but now that touched my heart, that, that's just so sweet, because, you know, a lot of people, you know, I don't think it's intentionally, but we forget about, uh, you know, our elderly people, you know, and they go into these nursing homes and it's like, you know, they get a visit once or twice a month. I mean, that's very sad to me. So this, you guys, whoever this message was for, you're so sweet. Please, please uh, drop me a comment and let me know um, what this means to you if this message right here is for you, okay? I, I want to I wanna know who you are. I love that. All right. That's amazing. All right. So we have the Knight of Coins with Death. Okay. The energy of Scorpio. And then we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy right here. You know, this is the slowest moving night in the Tarot, but that's okay. This night doesn't overlook anything, you guys. And this night knows what he's going after. It's within reach. It's doable, okay? And it's a money maker. This is something, as long as you nurture and grow, this will bring you long-term financial flow right here. All right? It's very, um, this is just such a grounded and down-to-earth energy. Practical, okay? Realistic. That's the word I was looking for. It's what you are going after, you know, you can have, you can achieve. As long as you nurture it and take care of it, it will be yours. All right, you guys? This is such a positive energy. This definitely could be some of you. 
you know, at the beginning stages of a new career or maybe building up your business as well. But it's a very responsible energy, too, and I love it. Now, you have death. Uh, I see many of you releasing, letting go of anything that um, you may feel has been holding you back. This could be dumping emotional baggage. Uh, this could be you purging, just releasing. Uh, clearing out the clutter of your mind. Cleansing your energies. That's what I'm getting right here. You know, I feel like there's a rebirth at hand. You know, some of you are going through a huge shift, transformation at this time. And who knows? It could be the dark night of the soul that some of you are going through. And I tell you what, that's not easy. Okay, that's, that's painful. <laughs> I know, I've been there many times. Um, and it, there's nothing easy about it. And I see you, you know, making it to the finish line. You see the light at the end of the tunnel. You're emerging. And you're, you know, going through a huge transformation and transitioning. You're coming out a completely different version of you than you were before. A wiser, you know, um, just a more wiser individual right here. More knowledge, more understanding, more compassion, okay? And definitely so much growth that has taken place and it has allowed for you to shift to higher levels of consciousness as well as when you shift you guys your vibration and your frequency is higher as well and that's amazing and that's when you know really positive things can start pouring into your life and doors can start opening up for you there is definitely a successful new beginning here for you okay and you've worked hard for this you deserve it now, we have the King of Wands, okay, with the Four of Wands. Y'all know the King of Wands is my favorite king. <laughs> All right, whether you're male or female, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy right here. This is, you know, a powerful, bold energy. This king has authority, has leadership. This king knows what he wants. He's going after it with passion, okay, and he's not going to let anything or anyone stop him. From achieving his goal okay he's got his mind set some of you are definitely starting your own business this is that entrepreneur type energy some of you are moving up within a company into a leadership role a, a role of authority okay maybe you have people that are under you okay I feel like people look up to you they respect you your energy is off their charts they can feel your energy you light up a room okay Oh, that's amazing. I can feel the energy. It's beautiful. And it's a go-getter energy, okay? Most definitely, some of you could be teachers, mentors. With the Four of Wands here, I most definitely feel like some of you are, you know, creating a business from home, all right? Definitely getting that master builder energy right here, that creator energy. You guys are definitely laying a solid, unshakable foundation with whatever structure this is that you're building. This could be you literally buying a home. Some of you could be selling a home, okay? You could be, I feel like, buying and selling property as well. That, that could be what you do for a living. You could be into um, real estate. You guys, I apologize. My grandson is down there having a fit. I don't think he wants to go lay down for a bit. <laughs> Bless his heart. All right, so just bear with me, you guys. All right, so the Four of Wands, I most definitely feel like you guys... You know, this is the happiest energy right here in the Tarot. This and the Sun, okay? They are the happiest energies. And, you know, the King of Wands is definitely going after his heart's true desires. He's going after what he has passion for, what makes him happy. You know, some of you, you want a family, okay? Um, you know, you, you could be settling down, all right? There could be a marriage proposal here. There could be taking a relationship to the next level. Okay, I, I'm seeing some of you are, you know, newlyweds and you're starting a family. And I see it being very happy. I see good times. I see celebrations, you know. I feel like you guys are getting on the phone or having that uh, 
what is it, phone chat, uh, Skype, and visiting with friends and family. You're, you know, you're t staying in touch with the people that you care about and you love. All right, and that's what's important to you, and it makes you happy. Thank you, Spirit. Now, we have the Knight of Cups, all right, with the Knight of Swords. I like this pair. <laughs> Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. This is an opportunity coming in here, you guys. This is a blessing. This is coming straight from the divine. And with the Knight of Swords, you know, being underneath it, you're definitely going to be taking, uh, you're going to be accepting that offer. Now, I do feel, like I said, I feel romance. I see romance. I, like I said, for one or two of you, you know, you may be fixing to pop the question to your partner, or maybe they're going to pop the question to you, or maybe you're going to take it to the next level. This could also represent a new romance if you're open and ready for it. Now, the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius energy. This is powerful. This is you taking action on this opportunity, no matter what it is. And I mean, you are taking <laughs> action and you are very serious about it. Power with intent right here, okay? This talks about you know what you want. You are uh, going after it. You know, you are using clear communication. You're being very straightforward about um, what it is that you desire, okay? And I feel like, I feel like for some of you, you know, what comes with this, okay, opportunity may require you to release and let go of situations or maybe even people um, that you have realized are not, are not serving, you know, your interests anymore or your, your purpose. You're, you're realizing that these people or these situations or, you know, that, you know, you've been getting into... You, you've come to find out that those people didn't have your back, okay? And I feel like they were vibrating on a lower level energy, and you're, you're up here, okay? And that's causing conflict, all right? So I definitely see you cutting and releasing and letting go of anything or anyone, okay? I see you looking out for yourself. I see you taking a stand right here. You know, this is you believing in yourself, not backing down. You know, and going for what it is that you truly want, okay? Taking action. You're doing what's right and what's just for you. And you know how important that is, okay? Especially right now here in this, this time we are in. All right, so we have strength, energy of Leo, with the moon, energy of Pisces. Okay. I love this. You know, this talks about how much inner strength and wisdom you have, okay? How generous you are. I feel like you share it with others. You know, some of you are definitely going after your heart's true desires right here. You're going after a dream, a wish. You know, you've got a vision, and you're going to, you know, bring it, birth it, and bring it into your reality. You're taking action on it, and it's taking a lot of courage, but you're doing it because you have that courageous spirit and you also have the spirit of perseverance running within you and through you you know you got this you, you've got self-confidence right here and you're going after your happiness you guys again we're talking about going after something that you have passion for and it's going to make you happy with the moon here okay listen to your intuition you already have an inner knowing and you are right if you've been second-guessing yourself, stop, okay, because you're right. You're on the right path. You're being nudged, okay? Go with it. That's what your guides are telling you. Uh, I really feel like for many of you, you are listening to your intuition. You understand that you are being divinely guided. You are being spiritually protected. You're paying attention to your dream, sign, symbolism, synchronicities. You're receiving a lot of spiritual downloads. You are connected to your higher self, okay? And you are definitely connected, okay, to your guides, your angels, and your ascended masters. I feel like this is what's allowing for you to be able to courageously move forward and take action, all right? Because you have this inner knowing that you are okay. 
You are on the right path. You are being protected. You will be cared for today and all your tomorrows. Woo, you guys. I love it. All right. Nice. Thank you, Spirit. All right. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. All right. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye, everyone.